It feels like a sort of early Christmas present for uh, all Manchester City uh, supporters. It's the news they've been waiting for. To tell you the truth, I don't think it was really in that much doubt. We've been down this road before with Pep Guardiola. Uh, in the past, when he's extended his contract, it's normally been at this kind of time of year. And I think um, it suits Manchester City because obviously they needed to know if he was going to leave. This is the kind of time they would need to know uh, in order to start making contingency plans for a possible replacement. But I think they've been very relaxed behind the scenes. They've always known that, as Pep himself just said there, he has everything he needs at Manchester City. There is no better place for him. And he realises that, that this is where he wants to be. A lot of people will be looking from the outside in and saying, what more is there for him to achieve? I mean, his record is incredible. He's won everything there is to win. He's rewritten the record books. But he's still got that inner hunger to achieve more, uh, to build a new team, to prove the doubters wrong. And I think it could have a really galvanising impact on Manchester City's season as well. Uh, there's sort of people writing and saying that, you know, Manchester City are going through a really, really difficult spell. Uh, is this the end of their dominance? I don't think it is at all. I think for what it's worth, in my opinion, Pep Guardiola is, I would say he is the best coach uh, that we've ever seen in football. I think there's an argument to say Sir Alex Ferguson is the best manager. But when it comes to sort of tactical innovation, when it comes to coaching players, uh, developing the way the game is played, I think Pep Guardiola stands head and shoulders above anyone else.